The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing RK Bro from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, one half of the Raw That's Tag it. Team Champions, The Viper. Think of all the legendary factions that Randy Orton has been a part of. All steps in his career greatness. All right, he learned from the best, but at a very early age, Randy proved he can go it alone. Yeah, yeah we learned very quickly that Randy Orton was the student who was able to surpass the masters. And in the process, Randy Orton has become a master in his own right. Orton looks like he's ready to stalk his prey. After a decade, the two-time Royal Rumble winner. The personification of grit. A superstar looking to reach the pinnacle of his second mountain. There is only one rated R superstar. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the WWE Universal Champion, the Rated R Superstar. Edge. Edge has had over 30 championship reigns in his WWE career. Edge here tonight, and since returning to WWE, he's had a newfound sense of gratitude and respect whenever he steps into the squared circle. He doesn't want to let this second chance at an in-ring career slip through his fingers. That's a real inspirational tale, Cole, but let's not kid ourselves. You can't take that gratitude to mean he had a personality transplant. He's still the wonderfully sadistic master of psychological warfare that he always was. Only now he has even more of a chip on his shoulder. You might be right, Corey. If anything, being forced out of action may have only strengthened Edge's desire to win at any cost, made him even more dangerous in the ring. And then I'm always frightened by the thoughts permeating in Randy Orton's mind. Absent of remorse or any moral compass. Yeah, but you see a man absent of morality. I see a man who constantly evolves. The Viper knows there's no room in this business for good or bad choices. Only the choice that benefits himself. Corey, what kind of strategy does Orton have in his mind? To be perfectly honest, it's a mind I wouldn't want to get into. When you think about those wheels turning inside the head of Randy Orton, inside the head of the Viper, it's bad news for anyone across from him. And that gets rescinded back to Edge. Merciless attacks from the Viper. Both wheels are turning in Orton's head, barreling straight into Viperville. Able to interrupt the attack. Downward spiral. Stomping down. Rolling neck snap. Look at this heel hook. This is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. Viper able to strike back. The Rated R Superstar has taken over this matchup. Momentum completely on the side of Edge. Classic Orton. Nice. 
Uh oh, edge from behind. Execution. And the cover for the win. This is it. Kick out just before two. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Oh, look at the well placed elbow right on the mark. And Orton there being shown zero remorse. Right there was a reminder of how dangerous Edge can be in that ring. Classic Orton. Great wherewithal on the counter. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. Sequence of reversals there. Tagged with a punch. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. How many times have we seen Orton punish his opponent? The Viper's showing the benefits of being devoid of any remorse. Ouch. Up and around and took the world slam. Some charge against Edge now. Edge's defenses are being mowed down. quietly, but these two ended up having one heck of a fight. I wonder if Orton thinks he's proven his point against Edge. I wonder if his betrayal was worth it. Just look at the satisfied smile on 